What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool things almost every single day, and I told you guys that we weren't going to slow down. And I'm keeping my promise, because today's package is going to be a pretty epic package. Not something that you normally see on this channel, however, we have covered some similar things in the past, and I am beyond excited to once again revisit this subject matter. And it doesn't stop there, because there are more big scores on the way, and who knows, maybe I'm dropping hints in each video as to what that score is going to be. These hints might be right under our noses. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop on into today's package, which is a hefty one. Very, very heavy. And as you can see, has some cool artwork on it. Very rad. Now this comes to us straight from the catacombs of the Ghoul Lunatics Asylum. And guys, if you haven't taken my recommendation of Ghoul seriously yet, then you need to pause this video open up another tab, check out Ghoul, fall in love, come back and really appreciate this for what it is. If you love Guar, you'll like Ghoul. Because in today's video, we have a Ghoul piece. Now some of you guys might be asking, who is Ghoul? Well, this is Ghoul. pretty fucking sick, okay? I discovered them through Guar, and I'm very, very glad that I did, because I'll be honest, they are probably one of the only opening acts for Guar that I haven't wanted to see leave the stage. Not that other Guar opening acts aren't good, it's just I came there to see Guar, and I don't really care about any other band. But man, when Ghoul is on stage, you are just absolutely captivated. They are pretty fucking rad. Everything from the music, to the name of the band, to their logos, to the way that they look, to the way that they act in interviews. I, I don't know why you think it's so scary. These are just my daily clothes that I wear. Okay. It's very functional, you know. I keep I keep my pigs here, you know. And then I keep, you know, like a uh, uh, Oh, that's an eyeball. I have a spare eyeball to eat later. Ghoul is cool. So, I was recently contacted by an employee of Ghoul down in the catacombs and he said, "Hey, we're trying to clean this place out. Do you want any corpses? And I said, yup. So needless to say, I'm excited to see what's in this package. I would like to open this without destroying the drawing that's on top, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. There we go. I have salvaged the artwork. That's just a cool little keepsake because it's my address from Ghoul. All right, now let's get on in here and see what we've got. I know that there are extras aside from what I have purchased, so very curious to see what those extras are. All right, let's just go ahead and dig on in. Looks like we've got some t-shirts. Nice white t-shirt there from the 2018 tour. And is it my size? It is. Fuck yeah. I don't even remember giving that dude my size, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, Scott. Let's see. We got multiple shirts in here. This one looks like it's been very used and abused. We got some splatter all over it. This one looks a little bit bigger. Yep, that's an extra large, so that's going to have to be a collection piece. And then we've got an even grosser shirt, even more used and abused, similar to the first one that we pulled out, but heavily weathered, and it's missing sleeves. Is it my size, though? Because I will definitely wear this. It's a small, but uh, maybe I could squeeze in there. That'll be some motivation for me to lose some fucking weight. All right, now I still just see a lot of stuff in here that is not the actual piece that I purchased. So I will continue. Uh, we've got a can here that's been crushed a little bit. I wonder if I can get that back in shape. Hell yeah, job well done. So it looks like we've got a little ghoul collab beer can there. It says Ghost Town Brewing. This is Numbskull. And I don't know anything about beers, but maybe the people out there that do drink will appreciate this can. Looks like we've got a copy of their comic, Born to Kill. Minty Fresh, looks like it's in fantastic shape. So that is super, super rad. And there's all kinds of stuff in here, man. It just keeps coming. That's what she said. We have the Ghoul Hang 10 record. Fucking sick. All of this stuff is sealed too. This is rad as fuck. Ill Bill, look at the back there. So fucking cool. Ghoul Wall of Death, once again, these are all sealed. Fucking sick. My Ghoul collection just went from very small to very large in a matter of one unboxing. And there is still more shit in here. So it looks like we've got a VHS. That's fucking rad. I love old VHS. I love physical media in general, and I grew up with VHS, and I grew up with cassettes, so that type of stuff still gets me. I know a lot of people think that that's pretty gimmicky, but I really, really appreciate this shit, and 
can't be easy to have this stuff made because it's such an obsolete old method that people don't want to fuck with anymore. So again, sealed VHS, fucking sick. And we've got yet another vinyl. There we go. There we go. Lots of cool stuff on the back there. I was talking about physical media and I got two of those pieces right there. So that's fucking sick. And it looks like I've just got uh, some hand-drawn artwork there. This says Red Death Checklist. And it looks like this would have been what the people dressing up on stage with Ghoul would have gone by during a live show to see like what they needed to have uh, ready to go because they run hoses and masks and costumes and stuff like War does. So that's fucking sick. And now we have the piece de resistance. This thing is fucking cool as shit, and I want to be extremely careful taking it out of here because it is very used and very abused. What we have is the Baron Samity mask, and this thing is fucking gnarly. Holy cow. So when Scott initially approached me about purchasing some items, this thing caught my eye really, really quick, and this is one of three of the different Samity masks, but this one just had so much character because the jaw had actually been cut off and started to rot around the mouth. I really, really liked the way that it looked, and obviously it gives it a lot of character. You can tell that it has been stage used, very, very stage used, and very abused. So I picked this one out specifically and Scott told me all about it. And I'm actually going to read what he said here so that I don't mess anything up. He says, that mask has been through hell, probably well over 100 shows, soaked in blood and packed wet night after night. It's been punched, hit with bottles, and it's headbutted at least one guy in South Carolina. Just wanted you to understand that it is very stage used. I said, that's what I like to hear. The mouth on it sold me has way more character than the other two. He said, I did that because he had a bunch of lines for one tour. It also made it easier to breathe. I'm pretty sure that's the mask I used in Europe when we ran out of blood and I used concentrated cranberry juice. Felt like I got pepper sprayed. That shit is so acidic. So this thing's got some mileage and definitely has a lot of love into it and I think that that really, really shows because wow, what a gorgeous, fantastic stage used piece to add to my ghoul collection, which mostly consists of stage used pieces, oddly enough. I was lucky enough to receive a stage used cremator hood that he used for five years a couple years ago, and that thing is fucking gnarly. I absolutely love that. Cremator is my favorite member of the band, so that just lined up really, really well, and when I had the chance to add something else to the collection, you better fucking believe that I jumped all over it. So now I've got this, and who knows, maybe there will be more stage-used ghoul scores in the future. One thing is for sure, this thing is sick as shit, and I'm very, very happy with it, so I need to give a huge thank you to Scott for arranging this deal, being a really good dude, and throwing in a shitload of extra which, by the way, there are still lots of stickers in this box, so I haven't even gotten around to looking at these yet, but we've got a lot of cool stickers in there that just fell out, so... Fucking rad, man. What a great little unboxing. And hopefully this shed some light on Ghoul and you guys go check them out because they definitely deserve it. If you're into just about anything on this channel, you will have a reason to like Ghoul. So make sure to go check them out. I will be dropping their information down below. And for any hardcore Ghoul fans that are watching this right now, make sure that you're paying attention in the Ghoul Lunatics Asylum Facebook page. I do believe that they are going to be cleaning out more of the catacombs and stuff like this might just come up for sale. I believe that someone else got one of these Samity masks on eBay and just posted it today, which is actually yesterday by the time that you guys are seeing this. But you get what I'm saying. I will be dropping the links to all that stuff down below. Make sure to go check out Ghoul. Once again, a huge thank you to Scott. I'm very, very happy with this and I definitely cannot wait to get it into the collection room and displayed properly. So yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and end this video with some nice up close shots of this piece as well as all the other goodies so that you guys can take a real good look at everything and see all of the beautiful stage used glory. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to ghoul, and we'll see you guys in the next one.